The Isle of Palms is looking to hire a short-term rental coordinator. This week, the City Council voted unanimously to create that job to handle the business that is a vital part of the island. Melissa Rademacher talked with the councilman about the position and what it entails and what they're hoping it will accomplish. Councilman Scott Pierce says he has been advocating for a short-term rental coordinator for a few years. He says with about 1,700 short-term rental properties, incoming applications and regulations to manage, they need a dedicated position to handle everything. Council has voted against a pause on issuing business licenses in the past and approved various rules for properties to meet, but all without a specific manager for the topic within the city. Pierce says this role will work with residents, rental companies, rental owners, and the city to track trends and make sure the application and renting process is streamlined and monitored. We have a fairly significant uh, revenue stream being generated off the island, probably in excess of $100 million from the short-term rental community. We've proposed a $200 increase on the uh, application fee uh, for short-term rental licenses. Um, and so that would fund uh, the position as well as some of the software that we're looking to implement and also some surround uh, administrative functions that go along with it. He says they hope to get a new coordinator in place as soon as possible. On Isle of Palms, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News. Now this comes as a new survey finds a majority of South Carolina residents are concerned about the negative impact of short term rentals in their communities. The survey comes as state legislators are considering a bill that would ban almost all local oversight of short term rentals. 77% of South Carolina voters say it's important for local officials to monitor, monitor rental properties and 67% say the presence of short term housing raises concern about neighborhood safety. Additional findings in the survey find more than 60% of voters agree that residential areas should be inhabited by those who intend to live there for more than just a few days. Over half agree that short-term rental properties lower the value of surrounding homes. And 54% say that the presence of these temporary rentals in neighborhoods is harmful to the area's sense of community.